Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm making barm brack, which is also known as Irish tea cake. It is a type of quick bread that made with dry fruit and as a matter of fact tea. And as a bonus, I'm gonna make some rhubarb jam that we can enjoy our barm brack with. First, we need to brew some tea and a very strong Ceylon black tea is highly advised and this time you guys can use just the bags because that's gonna make you a very strong tea so we need to brew about two cups of strong black tea we're gonna let it cool a little bit and prepare our dry fruit now this little scoop that I'm using is a quarter of a cup so I'm gonna use a quarter of a cup of golden raisins a quarter of a cup of dry cranberries then I'm gonna use some dry apricots and I think it's gonna add a very good flavor to the cake but you can use any type of dry fruit that you like so we are gonna need about half a cup of dry apricot and that's gonna go into our dry fruit mix I'm also gonna add a quarter of a cup of dried blueberries our tea has cooled down and as you can see the color is very intense and very strong so we just need to discard the bags and pour the tea over our dry fruit we're also going to add a quarter cup of irish whiskey we're going to cover it and let it soak overnight next day your fruit is going to get all plumped up and look at this tea and guess what we're going to use it in the cake now let's prepare our dry ingredients i'm going to use a cup and a half of plain flour one cup of dark rye flour i'm going to use three quarters of a cup of brown sugar and i'm going to use some spices we're going to use a half a teaspoon of grated nutmeg one teaspoon of cinnamon one teaspoon of cardamom a teaspoon of dry orange peel or you can use a zest of one orange and one teaspoon of minced lemon peel or you can use a zest of one lemon one teaspoon of ginger we're gonna use a half a teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of baking powder because this cake needs some rice we're gonna mix all these dry ingredients together and you see you're gonna have some lumps from that brown sugar you just need to break them and we're gonna make a well in the center crack an egg in there and this is when our tea that we brewed our dry fruit in is going to come handy we're going to add about three tablespoons at first and we're going to start forming the dough and it's going to first uh, st start as a dry dough and at this point we're going to add our drained fruit in there and the reason why we're doing it at this stage is because we want our dry fruit to be coated with flour so when the cake is baked it's not gonna sink um, to the bottom of the cake and our dry fruit is gonna be distributed very even so keep adding um, that tea to the dough and we're gonna make a very sticky dough and then as you can see um, it's almost there so it's just gonna be kind of like a sour cream consistency dough uh, we're gonna cover it and we're gonna let it rest for about 20 minutes because all the things gonna get settled in there and then we'll see if we need more liquid and this is the liquid I have left in the meantime we're gonna prepare our bacon form and I'm using this loaf bacon form it's by Kaiser I love this company it makes such a great uh, products so we generously gonna butter the loaf form and we also gonna line it with some parchment paper and um, this will ensure that the cake will not stick to the bottom because of the amount of the dry fruit it has 
After resting, our uh, dark rye flour is going to expand a little bit and our dough is going to look like it almost has yeast in it, but it doesn't. So this is the right consistency. So I'm going to transfer it into prepared baking form and we're going to start baking our barm bread. Just smooth the edges a little bit and it's ready to go into preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 40 minutes. I'm also going to prepare some rhubarb jam and this is the rhubarb guys and if you think it's a fruit, no, it's a vegetable. It kind of looks like a celery but rhubarb is going to have the sweet and tangy taste and it's mostly used in uh, all different kinds um, of preserves and jams. So we're just going to cut the brown spots of the rhubarb and we're going to cut it into half an inch pieces and we're going to weight our fruit because every time you're making any type of preserves you have to weight your fruit. And as you can see we have about um, 8.95 ounces of fruit 254 grams so normally for any type of preserve you need to double it in sugar but i'm actually gonna um, use only half of the sugar i don't like it too sweet so i'm gonna use half of the amount in sugar and we're gonna place it all in a little um, saucepan and look at me i'm saying it's a vegetable but i keep repeating it's a fruit well, anyway, we're going to add a zest of one orange to the uh, rhubarb and a zest of one lemon. Then we're also going to use a juice of one orange and a juice of one lemon. That's going to give us our jam such an amazing flavor. And we're going to add our juice to the fruit slash vegetable. And we're also going to add some vanilla. I'm using a vanilla paste, but you can use just one stock of um, vanilla bean and um, place it in the saucepan. We're going to put it on the stove on the medium high heat and we're going to start boiling it. And this process is going to take between 20 to 30 minutes until you actually uh, see the jam uh, being created. And right now it's kind of watery. So we need to cook it down a little bit more. And this is how you test it when your jam is done. If you can run a line through the middle of the pot and it will take some time for your jam to close that line, it means your jam is ready. We're just gonna transfer our jam into a nice jam dish and we're gonna let it cool. Our barn brack is ready and as you can see it has no color because you know just how it is. To give it a little bit better appearances we're gonna drizzle some honey over it and then just drizzle some nice honey over it and take a pastry brush and just brush it over the cake and it's gonna look so much better. Then take the cake out of the form and let it cool completely either on the cutting board or on the cooling rack and then we can cut it and taste it. You will need either a serrated knife or a bread knife to cut your barn bread because it has a lot of fruit and any other uh, knife will kind of crumble it and as you can see guys as I'm cutting it look at the texture of the cake it is absolutely amazing it has kind of like a chewy texture and the fruit distributed so in evenly and it looks so good and of course the best part of it is just to put some jam next to it that uh, rhubarb jam we made it is so delicious and of course you can never enjoy the cake without a tea so i brewed some more tea and bon appetit guys i hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and i will see you soon bye